Hello. Hello. How's your shift? Yeah, good people still. Canal boat mm -hmm. rescue is different. Nice. What, someone on a canal boat? Yeah, I'm stuck in the canal boat, yeah. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. I'm Louise. I'm uh, Josh's partner. So that's kind of my involvement with the firefighter charity. That's how I got to know through Josh being a firefighter. I think being a Josh changes the perception for me um, with the fire service, mainly the scope of jobs that they go to. I think before I naively thought that it was just fires, whether it's, you know, car crashes, flood rescues. I mean, they're even assisting with ambulance things now as well. I am acutely aware that, um, you know, Louise was talking lots about what you see and what you have to do and some of the horrible things you witness as a firefighter. I know impacts on lots of people's mental health. And I think any partner to a firefighter, Louise included, whether they know it or not, is probably the first stage of like a diffusing process for a firefighter. I've been quite, quite fortunate. I've not been injured and I've not been affected, but you know, that could all change in the future. I have briefly used the firefighters charity services. Um, had some struggles with my mental health. Um, so reached out to them through Josh and I was amazed at how quickly um, they responded and how willing they were to help. So um, within an hour I had access to mental health resources online. Um, they also organised some one-on-one -on -one, um, like virtual counselling sessions for me as well. Um, Josh saying, well, you know, you, you have access to the, the firefighters charity resources and it, and it hadn't even occurred to me that, that I could use them um because obviously they're there predominantly for the firefighters but um you know the fact that it branches out and encompasses kind of the the firefighter support system as well um is just amazing with regards to contacting the charity i think it's important that partners and children and dependents of the firefighters know that the services are open to them as well there's a free like free phone number that they can always phone and if, if they're not sure, they can ask the question whether there's services that can help them, and it's all confidential. So my message to the d other dependents is to remember that those services are there for them as well. Um, and all they need to do is go on the website, there's a form, or follow the 0800 number, um, and those services are there to help them. And they were incredibly um, friendly, welcoming on the phone. Um, it, you know, It's quite a big thing sometimes, trying to reach out for support. Um, and it can be quite intimidating, but they really put you at ease. So if anyone is hesitant about just making that first step, um, definitely don't be, just go for it. <laughs>